Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show how you can use image descriptions inside voiceover recognition on the Mac. This is a fairly new feature and I just learned how to use it and it's pretty cool. So to get started, I'm going to go to the dock. Dock. Photos. Maya 22. Apps. Voiceover utility. And I'm going 22. to voiceover Apps utility. Available. You are currently on application dock item. To open finder, desktop group, voiceover utility, voiceover utility, window, utility categories, table, general. And then I'm going to go into a table because this is where the categories are to go to voiceover recognition. So I'm going to go down to it with VO plus shift and down arrow. In utility categories, table, general, verbosity, whoops, commander, grip, X, voiceover, voiceover recognition. And voiceover recognition is at the very end of the row. And now I'm going to go out of it with VO plus shift up arrow. Out of utility categories, table, using mobile device intelligence, your Mac will automatically improve the accessibility of images. Voiceover recognition should not be relied upon in circumstances. Image descriptions, check, checkbox. And if you've never done down. image descriptions before to enable it, you just check the box. And you do that with VO space. And then that's all you have to do. And then you just go to a place where there happens to be a picture, an image of some kind. So I'm going to go into my uh, photos. Doc. Voiceover utility. Oh, App Store. Photos. Maya 22. Actions available. Voiceover utility. Voiceover photos. Photos. Window. School area has keyboard focus. You are currently and in a school area. To begin interacting with the contents of this, I'm going to go down three times into my photos by pushing VO plus shift down arrow, I believe, three times. In school area, in all photos, in September 12th, 2020, at July 20th, July 26th, July 31st, 2020, at 6.05 p.m., one face is in this photo. Image has alternate items. And now, degrees orientation. what I'm going to do is press VO shift plus L. A child standing on a couch and holding an object. August 1st, 2000. October 19th, November 2nd, 2020 at 10, 53 p.m. One face is in this photo. Image has alternate items. Will take 90 degrees orientation. You are currently on an image inside of a section a child sitting at a desk with a laptop on it december 16th to december 16th 2020 at 5 48 a black and white cat sitting in a refrigerator december 6th december 20th 2020 at 4 23 a black and white cat lying on a wooden floor and just so everyone's aware vo is control and option and you hold them together with another button to do a function and I believe you can change the VO modifier to a different uh, button, like caps lock, but I just stick with what's, what is uh, the default. Here is an example of an image on the web of a cookie. A screenshot of an image of a group of gingerbread houses on a black background with white text. So on the web, you can uh, search websites, like if you're looking for a, a recipe or something. And if you just want to know something about the, the picture in general or anywhere, like on the web or in apps, uh, and you're just looking for the picture, if you use the rotor on the Mac and you turn to the right, you'll get to images. And then if you arrow down with your arrow key, It'll go through just the images themselves so you can listen to the image description for that. So I'm going to show how you can do that real quick with the rotor. Like photo, button, lines, link, food, link, biscuit, list, non-visited, link, visited, links, link, navigation, characters, words, window spots, links, headings, form controls, web spots, landmarks, buttons, text fields, images, you are currently on a figure inside of web brown heart shaped cookie on black metal frame link image brown heart shaped cookie on black metal frame you are currently on a link inside gingerbread cookies on a metal grill and that's how it'll take you to the next picture only and you arrow down red and white ceramic cat figurine link image red and white ceramic cat figurine 
and that's the description from the web page itself. Click this link. Press Control Option. Gingerbread cookies on a sheet of parchment paper. Possible text. Call you Chen. And that was the image description for it when I pushed Control Option Shift L. So it's really cool. In the rotor, you can find links, headings, images, characters, words. It's a whole bunch of stuff in the rotor, but if you're specifically looking at the images, then you just find that in your rotor by turning with your index finger and your thumb. And I was on the web yesterday, and I was just on my own personal Facebook page even, and I had the image descriptions. I was pushing the button to hear, and I could hear for a dog doing different things that someone took a picture of in their yard, and it would say, Black Lab holding a ball in its mouth, black lab jumping over a fence. And it was very good description of the dog doing different things that they took pictures of. And I, I really enjoy it because it helps us as, as visually impaired uh, individuals to get a, a sense of what's really going on in the picture more than just what we get by somebody writing a caption in the picture or if they don't write a caption at all. Image descriptions inside voiceover recognition is very cool and I'm super excited that it's in macOS now in Big Sur and it's oh, it's just like it is on the iPhone and iPad except you just have to make sure and enable the setting inside voiceover recognition and then you can start pressing control option shift L and when you're on an image and it will describe it and I am super excited for it like it's really sweet. And this kitten is not super excited about it, so I'm going to give him a giant hug and say goodbye. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.